I'm really excited for this one because there have been some massive innovations in the tools that we use to clean armor. I'm talking 150 plus items on just clean one. It is insane the amount of things that we can do now. There's going to be two tools that we're going to be using. The first half of the video is going to be on the innovations with the D2 Armory, and the second half is going to be the Destiny Recipes website. If we go to Destiny 2 Armor Picker, this, this tool is incredible in its own right for its ability to make different loadouts and to get perfect stat distributions. We're talking, you know, X300 builds, X400 builds, perfect roles for specific exotic builds, you name it, this tool is incredible. But we're not even going to look at that function. We're going to come over here to armor clustering. What this does is it goes ahead and it gives us an idea of different armor pieces in different stat clusters. If we take cluster 5, for example, I have 36 items in cluster 5. There is no way I need that many items with the same stat distribution. I'm only ever going to have four items equipped, and then my class item, so helmet, gloves, chest, boots, even across all characters. Like, having four of this stat distribution equipped isn't going to give me builds that I need, so this cluster is overvalued. It's, it's oversaturated. So I'm very confident and very happy to go ahead and clean this cluster. These values aren't going to be, they're not going to be exact, right? And we'll get to that. So I'm just going to press copy, dim, create a clipboard. We're going to go to dim. We're going to paste it. And then we'll go ahead and we'll click the item viewer menu. And you can see this is, this is a lot of visual clutter. There's a lot of items here. I'm not going to get a lot done by looking at it this way. The reason for that is because we're comparing all classes. We don't want to do that. So we're going to go back to the armor pick. We're going to scroll up. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to filter by class. Right now, we're making a build for my Titan, or we're cleaning out for my Titan right now. You can do this with all, but I recommend just doing it one at a time so that you can keep the visual clutter down. So we'll go back to that, and even still, we have 23 items in cluster 5 for the Titan by himself. You can tell I play Titan a lot. So we're going to copy that, we're going to go back, paste it again, and let's remove some items down. Already, I can see a lot of things wrong with this cluster. We have how many gauntlets? One, two, three, four legendary gauntlets. Let's go ahead and look at those. We have a 65 total with a high recovery strength distro. We already know that because it's a cluster. And then we have a swing in mobility. And then if we look at the other ones, we've got a 1823 with an even swing. And then we've got a similar piece, 22, 23, with a high resilience swing. Outright, these two are very similar. One just has a mobility swing, one has a resilience swing. Based on what you like, you could just delete one outright. But I'm going to give you another idea before you do that. We're going to go back to the D2 armor picker. We're going to go to the stat distributions. Cluster 5 was a recovery strength uh, distribution, so it would make sense that it would go into a recovery strength build. So we're going to tell the tool that we want to do a max recovery strength build, right? I'm not going to give it any other modifiers. There are other things we could do to make this better, but um, for now we're just going to do that. And we'll, we'll, what we're going to do, what we're trying to see is do those other pieces show up in these builds? Which ones do we get rid of? And then also, I always make sure I put on power funds, radiant light, because we are doing a strength build. And then down here, I always make sure that I assume master worked on all pieces. Um, toggle off only used already master work pieces because this will not having this on will not allow you to highlight pieces that could be better than what you already have. So make sure that's off. I always ignore elemental affinity on my pieces because there may be a better piece that I could change to make the build better. Um, what this does is these two mods force that I have arc equipped. Well, having that toggle on makes it so that we ignore that force. And it tells us, hey, you're going to have to switch two items to arc to make this build work. I'm okay with that. Um, if you're not okay with that, just toggle it off. Pretty simple. Um, I also make sure that I limit off this button because keeping this limit toggled on will give us fewer results. So now that we've done that, um, we can just toggle through and we can see, okay, does this item ever show up so far? You know, make sure we toggle by tier. Whoops, didn't do that. So I'm in my tier 40 sets now. It's not that piece because it's not a, it's not masterwork. This is a different piece. Uh, and so far, I already have other, other gauntlets that are just better already, right? I haven't seen it yet. I've gone through however many now, and I haven't seen it. 
So I have high confidence that I can delete this piece. Alright, so that's not bearing in mind, you know, forcing an exotic, obviously, so let's go ahead and do that. This is a Titan build. Um, what you could you do for a Titan? I mean, you probably could do, let's say, I don't know. I mean, Doom Marchers are getting a nerf, but let's say, for example, you want to Doom Marchers, so toggle by tier, and let's just go through these. So I'm already seeing duplicates of, of this gauntlet, right? In the previous build, we saw this gauntlet. It's showing up in another build. That means it has a high value to our account. It's being used in multiple builds. I'm already seeing value in that, in that piece. So I don't need... That's okay. So... I think somewhere in here we're going to find it eventually. Okay, we found it. We found it in this build. But there's there's a problem with this, right? It is there, and it does end up having the things that we wanted, and it ended up having a really high mobility stat, which is cool. So if you wanted that, you could do that. And Dune Marchers do scale well with mobility, that's true. But... For example, I already have, you know, these other ones, and I already have some of the mass worked, and maybe I don't want, you know, like let's just let's just look at this one, right? Let's just look at this build, copy this build, paste it in, and let's look. These gauntlets, you know, they don't have the same distribution, but they make the build work. They make the build work, and they're already, you know. They, this is even in the, this, this is in cluster 5. If we go back to cluster 5, copy that, paste it, and there it is, right? And I know for sure, without a doubt, if I were to throw in a high resilience build, I would find these gauntlets. I know I would. So I have high confidence that I can delete this piece. Because I already make I already make the build that I want work without them, so that means that I can get rid of them. So they are max power, so I'm going to infuse them. So if you just do that for each of the clusters, and I know it's a lot of work up front, but if you do that, you can easily get rid of 50, 60 plus items. You know what you're looking for is same class, same slot, and then look at the builds that can be made. It's a lot of work up front, but once you've done it once, it will really help. Now, where this is important to make a note of is with things that are raid specific. So if you have a raid piece that has a raid slot on them, do I even have one in here? Uh, I don't think I do. Um, but if I have a raid slot, and they're similar values, you may want to value the raid slot higher than a standard piece. Um, and then also, Iron Banner pieces have the Iron Lord's Pride buff on them. So what this does, if you don't know, having four Iron Banner pieces during Iron Banner equipped after a game gives you a chance of getting an Enhancement Prism. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice little buff, get some free resources for playing a game that is okay. Um, so just keep that in mind. So that's clustering. Clustering is incredible. I love it. It lets you delete. Because deleting armor is so difficult when you have swings like this, right? Like, do I delete this? Do I not? But when you can look and see, okay, I can highlight and look and see that these pieces are similar and I can I can decide between them. And that that's just really good. Um, now... The next tool that we're going to look at is Destiny Recipes, and this thing is amazing. It is going to revolutionize your vault cleaning. And I mean, you'll just just wait and see. It's, it's insane the things that it can do. But uh, just to give you an example of one of the things that I'm struggling with uh, that this tool is going to help with is this search function right here. Is armor, is dupe, is exotic. I have 98 duplicate exotics. This is too many exotics to be keeping. Now, yeah, it, do I have a nice little farm to invest in and trash and get some resources back? Sure, but it's also eating up one-fifth of my entire vault. I need, to, I need to trim it down. 
So we're going to go to Destiny Recipes. We're going to go to the Vault Cleaner tool. Now what this thing does is you specify what you want it to do. It has a weapon cleaner tool and an armor cleaning tool. Um, and I'll just, without modifying anything, I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, so the PvE role and the PvP roles that it keeps are based on Destiny Tracker and the uh, D2 Gunsmith uh, recommendations that you see inside of your DIM recommendations. I'll have a video on how you can actually modify your own wish lists with those tools, but Suffice it to say, I don't always agree with these recommendations, so typically I, I filter my guns by myself. But for sake of the video, I will show you what it looks like. So without changing anything, I'm just going to hit review just to show you what it looks like. So on the left, it shows you the PvP stratification and the PvP certification. PvE, PvP. Right? Percentage based on the roles that you have. So the items on the left will be kept this doesn't auto-delete them, but what it does is it goes ahead and it locks everything that you decide to keep in the left column, and it unlocks everything that you keep on the right column. And you might be like, oh, Hamura, how is that helpful? You'll see in a minute. With some some crafty dim searches, it's not even that complicated, we can mass junk most of these items. So, you know, and we're not going to go through this because that's going to take way too long, but suffice it to say, you know, you click through and you can see the rolls. And then you can say, actually, I disagree with you, move it over here, or actually, I think that item's trash, move it over there, whatever. And then you just move on to the next weapon type. But we're not going to do that. We're going to just use this for armor today, so we're going to turn that off. So now here you have, you know, you can turn it off by keeping all. Uh, I always recommend keeping on keep best tat total stat. Uh, this is where things change a little bit. So if you're still leveling, I would say keep highest power on. If you're at 1330 or the max power for the season, you can toggle this off safely because your max power pieces might be junk. So toggle that off. Um, for me, I toggle off keep masterwork because I may have uh, masterworked a piece of trash without thinking about it. So I'm going to toggle that off just, just to see what the recommendation is from the tool. And then I'm also going to turn off keep exotics because for me, I need that. For you, it might not be important. This next uh, column, I recommend keeping all of these on. Uh, this is going to do the most of the work for the filtering, so keep if one stat is above 23. That's just a high swing piece. Those are always going to be fillers for a build. 1520s are always strong. Uh, this means that it's going to have one stat that's 15, one stat that's 20. Um, same thing here, triple 15s. Triple 15s are kind of fillers. They don't always swing builds very much, but they're still pretty helpful. Keep balance stats is the same, um, but it's for all. So you're going to have a lower swing, and but a more balanced piece overall. And then you can modify the, the total value. So for me, I almost, I almost always auto-junk anything lower than 55. I think I've shown you guys how to do that in a previous video. This kind of streamlines it where you can say, hey, give it a value, and then it does that for you. And then it also has a remove sunset piece. So now we're going to hit Review Vault, and, um, you know, don't don't trust this with Reckless Abandon. There are some things that you might want to keep, like this is on my highest power piece. It's my only 1330, 30, 1330 piece on my Hunter, I believe, so I'm going to keep that. And then I'm I'm going to go back into DIM after I do this filter, and I'm going to protect my non-dupes, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock and tag my non-dupes with our search functions, um, and then... Um, individually look at masterwork pieces to see why did I masterwork this? Well, okay, that's obviously trash. It's 54, I don't need that. It's probably a piece I've had for a while. But, and then class items, for me, I do these manually because um, I always like making sure that I have one of each type, and then if there's a, a raid-specific one or an Iron Banner one, whatever, you want to just filter those manually. But now I'm just going to I'm not actually going to delete these, I'm going to just show you for the purpose of the video. We're just going to go through and we're going to hit finish, process. It's going to go ahead and process all of these items. And then once it's finished, you can go to your DIM. And then we can type in... Now it's important that you make sure that you type in, if you are following along with me, we, we didn't filter weapons, so this function should not be applied to weapons. So we're going to go ahead and limit it to is armor. Then we're going to say is unlocked. Look at that. 164 items, just based on the tool. Now, we haven't gone through and looked at all of these items, but if 
we looked at the Destiny 2 recipes website and we actually went through each column and like compared and whatever, you could filter these down based on uh, the values that you want to keep. And again, I recommend that you go into your loadout optimizer first, your D2 armor picker first, make the loadouts that you want to keep first, and then do this. And then, I mean, 164 items? That's insane. 159, that's it, that's incredible. The value in this tool is just amazing. So, key things to remember, right? Armor clustering, filter out duplicates on your slots. Um, with Destiny recipes, make sure you don't just trust the tool blindly. Make sure you actually look at certain pieces and be like, okay, the tool says I can trash it, but it's the only one I have, or it's, you know, I don't have enough resources and have to work something else, or X, Y, Z, whatever it ends up being. But at the end of the day, once you've done both of these things, you can pretty safely delete almost everything that it recommends. And you can, if you don't want to delete exotics with it, you can just toggle that off. If you want to only clean for one class, toggle only in that class. So I hope this helped. Um, until that Bungie goes ahead and gives us an expansion to our vault, we unfortunately have to resort to crafty tactics like this to clean out our space. But if this helps you, leave a like, uh, subscribe. Um, I'll be posting more quality of life videos in the future. So um, anyway, uh, I hope you guys have a good, good night and uh, have a good one.